Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review this Rolly 3-axis gimbal for smartphones. And not only for smartphones, I actually adapted it to use it with my GoPro Session 5. spent quite some time trying to create like my own handheld gimbal for GoPro and actually I failed so the thing that I created was really hard to use and was unreliable and was really noisy so all those uh, gimbals for quadcopters are noisy so I decided to give it a try this one because it cost only 100 euro which is like 50 euro less uh, the closest competitor would be. So what's in the package? In the package we have this neoprene case and then we have a gimbal. We have a gimbal, we have a stand and we also have a charging cable but uh, it's not there. So the gimbal is pretty usual thing you would expect to have from a 3-axis gimbal. It has 620 degrees of freedom on this axis and it has 320 degrees of freedom in two other axes. So it has, uh, it weights like 472 grams I think and then it also has like this little charger here that can kind of charge your phone but like with a twist because if you go ahead and put your phone like that then here is my charger it's like faces this motor i cannot actually plug any power in here so you actually can charge your phone and like while filming but for that you have to turn it around and use it in this orientation. Or if you're done filming with a gimbal, you can use it as a battery. You can just then plug your phone and charge it. And actually you get pretty nice hardware for the price. The application could be better, but I'm not going to be using this with application anyway. So application has pretty much all the features that you would expect from the gimbal application to have. So for example, it has face recognition and it can follow uh, you as you move in, in a frame but with a twist so for example if your phone is capable of shooting 4k uh, it will drop resolution down to 1080p when using with facial recognition so also it has a couple of uh, panorama uh, photo options and it also has like this motion lapse and time lapse options. So my smartphone is kind of old. It's Nexus 5X and it, would it also runs like this beta Android version. So uh, the application wasn't like uh, really stable running on my smartphone. Then I tried to use it with my wife's smartphone, which is uh, kind of newer uh, LG uh, Android phone. And it runs like a stock version of operating system with no uh, beta stuff uh, pre-installed. So it was much, much more stable. Unfortunately, I don't have iPhone, so I couldn't really test it with iPhone, but I I tested really well with my GoPro. So to use it with my GoPro, I went ahead and 3D printed this adapter. It kind of mimics, uh, you know, this smartphone, whatever, and then it has this part. How you use it, you actually just snap it like that, pretty easy, and then you just, you just go ahead and snap it here, 
And they claim that this gimbal uh, actually works well with smartphones up to 200 gram. And this GoPro camera weighs only 71 gram, which is, uh, as you can see, there is no problem shooting it. But the, with one little twist, so right now it faces uh, kind of selfie mode. And to actually uh, shoot something which is in front of you, you have to rotate the gimbal all the way in front because if you would like to still uh, keep this orientation and then like just rotate the camera so that faces in front of you it will inevitably catch this motor in the frame because well guess what gopros has like a wider angle so in conclusion should you buy it i mean yes if you just like a casual shooter and you want to keep your 50 bucks in your pocket instead of just give it in someone else it's a good option you just can use it with like your built-in camera application or with any camera application. Uh, if you're really into all those uh, options that other uh, manufacturers provide with those uh, applications that they have and they, if they look more stable or more polished, maybe that's not the right choice for you because as I said, application is pretty basic. It kind of, it could be better. I mean, it could be better, but myself, I'm not going to be using this application anyway because I don't need it. Most, most of the time I'm going to be filming with this gimbal using my GoPro actually because it's just a better camera than it is in my smartphone. But of course I will be also occasionally use it with my smartphone. So this is why I decided to go for a smart phone version because I knew that I could easily adapt it to use it with my GoPro. And that's it for today. If you like it, please like it. If you have any questions, just ask me down below and I see you next time with something new, hopefully. Cheers.